Hello everyone and today I'll show you how you can scale up an image like this uh, which is a black and white raster image. So it's a black and white vectorized raster image that means it's designed for tattoo or uh, some other logo or something but it's not a vector image it's a raster image. So this is a JPG, uh, JPEG image uh, for uh, it's 120 and 120 pixels so it's very small and if you scale it up you, you'll see that it gets some artifacts like this. So we want to scale it up but still retain its quality. So we'll drag it and drop it on the Photoshop like this. And then we'll go into image and image size and then we'll scale it up however we want. So I'll just uh, scale it up by 10 folds, adding a zero. And you can see that the Photoshop does a much better job uh, than uh, image viewer program but it still has a lot of artifacts in it. So we want to clear that up. And now obviously you'll need to do some uh, manual cleaning but most of the process is very automatic so what we'll do now is we'll duplicate this layer to uh, make, make sure that what we are doing is non-destructive and we'll uh, select filters and then we'll go to blur gaussian blur and then we'll blur it somewhat so that the artifacts of it are gone but uh, the edges are still uh, in their own shape so if you blur it a lot more you can see that the edges lose their shapes and if we blur it less then you can see that their artifacts are still visible so will uh, 5 uh, pixel is good for this image but this will depend on your own size uh, the size you select so you know uh, do it according to that we we'll click on ok and then we'll add a curves layer so we'll click on this and add a curves layer on top of this and you can see that there's this maximum and uh, sorry minimum and maximum of values for the curves and then we'll drag it like this to the middle you see that there's this graph and there's this uh, middle line so we'll drag it somewhere around there and then we'll also drag it closer to the middle and so you see that the quality is getting restored and then you just uh, play around with this a little and then you also have to do like a little manual cleanup around edges like this so what you can do is uh, create a new layer and if you can just uh, use the pen tool to manually fill this with a white but you know uh, this is fill part with okay. so it's more or less uh, a manual cleanup at this point but um, most of the process was most of the process was automatic so thank you for watching and take care